Hello everyone. Uh, this is Tara. I want to thank you for tuning in to my YouTube channel. I did change the name to Tara One at Home. Okay, and I will explain more about that in a separate video, but today what I have for you, Libra, this is going to be new episodes of your love story. A love story for Libra. I'm going to do this story in different stages. It will have, it will describe the person, personality, it will describe the theme, also the agenda, the feelings, and the outcome, the possible future outcome, okay? So this story is going to go into layers. Now as time goes on and I do these episodes, um, it will evolve. The way I do it, the style I do it, will evolve. But these will be episodes, episode one, episode two, and so on. It's going to be a continued story. And each story may resonate with you differently. Some stories may not resonate with you at all. Okay? So, let's get started. And thank you again, guys, for tuning in to me. This will be a new style of reading, and I'm going to do it in a story line style as a story, a storytelling style. Okay? So you have your two characters here. Now these characters are whomever you want them to be. Meaning the characters are representing you and that significant other and it could be however you want it to resonate. Okay? Whoever your characters um, you want to be. If, if you're a person, if you're a woman and you're listening um, you have your particular character you choose and vice versa if you're a man it's however it resonates with you okay so we have a young woman here beautiful woman here um, and that is going to represent the seeker and this and the other person is going to represent the significant other okay so it's how it resonates with you we are going to start. I will be using the Lenormand cards in a different way. I'm not going to use it as it's technically supposed to be used, but I am going to use it to add more of a storyline to this love story of yours, Libra, okay? So, your story is actually the first love story I'm doing. And we're going to see what your love story is going to be about. Okay, so also, I'm going to start developing the personality of who this person is, okay? And we are going to start with your personality. Your personality. So also I'm going to be using a new deck of cards that I got for designed for these stories, these love this love story. And I will be using the enchantment tarot to start building on your personality. Okay, I'm just trying to figure out which is going to match your personality. I'm going to use these. Then I'm going to go to the others for the theme. That's what I'm being led to do. Let me see something. Oh, I got my cards upside down. So we're going to pull three cards for your personality. OK. 
Okay. So, so far what we got, this could be a possible water sign, possibly. This energy is coming up, possible water sign could be in your chart. But with your personality, you're, you're, you're one to be very affectionate, you're one that loves very deep, and you're one that could possibly be thinking about happiness in, with your partner, happiness with your lover. The first thing I'm picking up here uh, with you, Libra, in your love story is I'm picking up just an abundance here. Just all the gifts that are laid out um, for you. And I feel like this is what you want to achieve. I'm getting a sense there's a an ambition type of energy about you. Well, you're very ambitious in love. Okay? And I feel like you're also a bit of a romantic. This is why we see you gazing out the window here with your rose. It, it seems like it's the rose that your lover has given you or your partner has given you actually. So this is something special and it feels like you're very, very deeply in love with this person. Hmm. I feel like you're a very good support as well when I look at the Six of Pentacles. So I'm getting a feeling that you're very supportive. You're one that is a helper. Um, you have a giving spirit. Okay? So this is what I see too. You're one that helps. All right. So this is what I see in regards to your personality. So let's go to your partner's personality, that significant other that could be coming in or that you could be in love with now. Okay, so we have one in this personality, this significant other. This could be one that's actually a, a person of the law, a person of justice. Um, this person can also work in a field of that nature. This person may have actually studied in the justice realm or could be some type of official or authority. This person also has a future. They have high ambition as well. So I feel like there's a similarity here between the both of you, actually. There's a similarity because I see that this person is ambitious and they look forward to the future. I feel like they have a, a part of them that is very uh, geared to justice, their focus. Um, they seem to be very educated as well. And this education could have something surrounded as an official or someone in the justice area. Could be also politics as well. Um, but I'm getting a very disciplined energy here. In this energy with the four of um, swords, I feel like this person also has a, a personality that they can kind of fall back. And they need to fall back. It seems like it's in their personality to fall back because this seems like the type of energy that they do have. Because they have a working mind, they're able to articulate uh, their message, where it needs to go. Um, I feel like this is a person that needs to kind of fall back and regroup and kind of think about which direction that they're going in or what they should do. This looks like a I'm, what I'm trying to say, this is a problem solver. A person that if you give them a problem or if there's a problem that's coming up, they are willing to solve it. They look to solve the problem. But they need to go in to their quiet space, their comfort zone, to be able to do that. So this could be a person that kind of may kind of pull back for a time. Or you need to give them their space. You're a person that's very much in love. Okay, um, you notice that there's not as many cups as with this person. Now, this person is more mental driven. Okay, you are more emotional driven, as I'm seeing here with two. But I feel like with these two energies coming together, you make a very good couple. So, 
now that we got your personalities situated, let's go to the theme. What the theme or the theme will be. feels more like water energy coming up here. Ah, but look, you got the fox there. Okay. So what I'm getting here with you, Libra, is a person that really works hard to get things done. And let me kind of lay this out here. You're a person that really gets things done. I feel like there is an ability that you have that's able to plan things out. Um, we see you here with the dirt. We're gonna call this you as we see the person in the picture. So it, you could have a green thumb as well. But let me get to the point of the theme. Um, but it feels like you're preparing for something. You're preparing the soil um, for your harvest. Um, and I feel like with these um, sunflowers here is a symbolism of um, longevity here. Wow. Wow. Okay, so Spirit is telling me that you are a person that connects with the community. You are a person that goes out there, maybe feed the hungry. And I'm getting a sense in Spirit that you are a teacher. I see kids, actually. I see children. And I see a person teaching. And I kind of feel like you may be one that will bring the kids out to the garden to plant, teaching them how to plant their own harvest, showing them how to do things. So that's what I see in spirit for some of you. But I feel like overall what spirit is trying to say that to prepare your ground for the harvest, prepare your soil because you will reap the harvest so that you can reap the longevity that you see there with the sunflowers, okay? So I feel like you're a person here, a person of preparation. And I feel like there's going to be a part here of you that is preparing for your desire, for your love. But you have the fox there. This is the high priestess. Not only you have the fox there, you have the cat. The cat there is your protection. And you most likely may have a cat that looks just like that. But that's your, your protector, your cat. Let me look at this picture here. Your cat is like jumping at sees something and it's just jumping. It's jumping after this. What is this? This, this kind of light here. You got quite a few cats around you. So you're the high priestess. You're the one that may also work your magic. You may be very esoteric as well um, with your magic here um, but you have your bit of protectors you have your black cat and you have your other cat here so I feel like not only with this you're one of a person that loves the earth and loves the animals as well but you're very intuitively linked in to what the universe is telling you in the spiritual realm So far from what I'm feeling here, I'm feeling there's a teacher, there's one that teaches others, but also there's one that plants the garden, that knows how to plant the garden, and maybe this is metaphorically from what I'm saying, knows how to plant the harvest and, and able to plant the seeds to reap the harvest. 
I feel like you move by your intuition and what spirit tells you. And you communicate with your animals here. But I see this fox, and this fox is sort of like the stinky character, you know, that you have to kind of watch over your shoulder. So there could be a fox at play here, Libra, in this love story. So we all, in love stories, we have those challenges or those people that we have to look out for. And here I see the fox. Hmm. Let's go to your significant other. I feel like this fox is part of the agenda here. Planting the seeds, you building your ground, you're building your fortress. We have the Ten of Blades. That's the Ten of Swords, of course. This goes over to your significant other with the Ten of Blades. Four of Wands. So, with your significant other, I feel like here with this Ten of Swords, of course I feel like there was some type of ending that happened in their life. Um, could be an ending of a possible relationship. I feel like someone might have been very angry with your significant other. I feel like your significant other needed to cut things off. This could be any way. This could be cutting things off business-wise, and I feel this could be an ending of a possible relationship, and it also could be an ending of a business, okay? Because I see a, that justice energy here, and I feel like this person is very ambitious, and they're into as I mentioned earlier in the video, um, sort of type of authority, type of justice, um, could be a legal, could be an official, I see, um, but they're very ambitious and very, very quick-witted, um, but with the swords here, it feels like something has ended um, or they had to cut short in their life. But, you know, from what I'm seeing here, I feel like the significant other, I feel like they're trying to build. I'm trying to build. It seems like they're trying to root out whatever is not working. And I feel like there was something. This fox could have had something to do with it. This fox was looking over your shoulder. This fox was looking at the situation, didn't like the situation. Hmm... This person was angry that came in. I feel like the way the situation ended, it was an experience, an angry experience that may have actually brought justice in. Okay? Here you are, you're desiring this happy family, this love that you have for this individual here. And here it is with the Four of Wands. I feel like um, your significant other, your your twin flame, your divine uh, feminine, divine masculine needed to cut a situation off in their life, needed to end it. Sometimes we have frenemies as well, someone that plays as our friends, but actually they're our enemies. I kind of get this feeling from this um, the, the situation here. So I feel like in this love story, there's a frenemy here. There's someone didn't want good or may have been jealous of something that your significant other or you have. We see the fox here looking over your shoulder. Why? But you have your cats, your cat energy, your cat totems, your protectors that are around you protecting you. 
it seems here that you're preparing for this relationship you're preparing for this love that you have you want the house you want the kit and caboodle don't you you want everything you want to bring your cats your your pets you want everything and this is what this person that's looking over your shoulder who possibly could be a frenemy one that smiles in your face and plays like they're happy for you they're happy that you're in love right something comes in I feel like this fox is connected to the significant other the fox is looking at you you don't feel so good here because you're picking up their energy you know what's going on don't you but let's say what the four of wands is about engagement it's about marriage why are they angry they're angry because the significant other fell in love with you. They fell in love with you. They fell in love with you. Beautiful. There may have been plans or will be plans of a marriage and an engagement that is coming forth, a celebration of your new love together. Wow. Let's explore the, the, the feelings. Let's explore the feelings. new love wedding wedding if you want to know in this love story for you Libra if your significant other will marry you the marriage is on the agenda the celebration is on the agenda this is why the fox the person that is envious of you not happy about this at all. Hmm. Your fox could be anyone. Your fox could be anyone that doesn't want to see you happy. He loves the way you flirt, or she loves the way you flirt. She loves what you have to offer. She loves what you give, the expression of your love. This could be a sign for you to express. You may want your lover to express their love a little bit more. But you are looking for the wedding. You feel like this is a new love. And even if it isn't brand new, it's a love full of energy and vibrance that every day it feels new. So this is, and now I'm just going to sprinkle a little more of, I'm going to uh, go to the Leonard Mine and just kind of tie the energy in here with the both of you. Just kind of tie it in. This is your star. We're just sprinkling the energies that's around your relationship here. All the relationship to come in. This is your sun. Wow. You got the star and the sun. So this is a, a blessed, a very blessed union here from what I'm seeing.
this is the fox whether male or female this is the fox that's not happy about this okay and this male or female can be anyone it could be an ex-lover it could be a jealous lover or it just could be someone that doesn't want to see you happy you may not approve of the relationship um, may may appear that they're looking out for your good which they could actually be not happy with the situation this is and I just don't want to say the wrong thing with this just doesn't want what is this Oh, okay, that's what it's called. I wasn't sure. So this is the compass. This is going to give you guidance along your path. This is also going to help you find your way. And it also represents a choice that needs to be made. And if there's a choice that you are trying to make, it's an indicator of the direction you're going to go in. And it's going to give you guidance if you feel that you are not clear along the path that you are. This is actually coming up near this person here who I see in this love story is that outside threat, that fox. But I feel like with this, um, that what it was called again compass it's going to give you a direction and it's going to give you guidance but overall in episode one of your love story you have the sun shining and the star here which is good blessings um good things to come a lot of lot of energy a lot of blessed energy um But also, I feel like you're going to find out more about this person. So I, I kind of feel like things are going to start coming out in the open as well. This is what comes to me with that. So stay tuned, everyone. I hope you enjoyed your love story, Libra. Um, put it in the comment section. This is a new series. Let me know how you enjoyed the love reading. Also, uh give the video a thumbs up and stay tuned for episode two god bless you